All right, in this video, we're going to be getting our domain name. Also, we're going to connect Flywheel, which is our website hosting platform. This is where we're gonna build our WordPress site. If you don't know what any of those words mean, don't worry, because I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step. Step. We're starting from scratch here, so you can see this progress as it happens. There are many places on the internet that, that you can get a domain name. I choose Hover. Hover is great because it is an absolute easy experience and I wanna make things as easy and frictionless as possible for you. So if you wanna go and start from scratch with me here, you can go to smartpassiveincome.com slash hover, which is our affiliate link. And we can just pick it up from here. So once you've got that brand name in mind, just simply type in the brand name here. I'm gonna use Deep Pocket Monster, which is the name of a YouTube channel I have in the Pokemon collection space. I'm building a website alongside you for this brand. And Deep Pocket Monster is the brand. I'm gonna hit search. And what you're gonna see is a number of different options that are available from the dot coms, which are typically a lot more expensive if it is a common phrase, to the dot org, to the dot me. There's even other versions of this. Like if I go down here, deep mobile monster, your deep pocket monster, it'll add those modifiers for you. And you can pick one that works for you if others that are taken are a little bit more expensive or just unavailable. I like deep pocket dot monster. So I'm just gonna add that to the cart and I'm gonna go through this purchase process with you really quick. I'm not gonna show you all of it because I don't want to show you my credit card number or billing information or anything like that. Here you'll see email options. I'm going to be adding a small mailbox so I can have a branded email address. For right now, I'm going to skip that, but we'll see that in a later lesson in case you want it. So I'm going to hit secure checkout. And for $15 a year, that's actually very, very inexpensive. That's a dollar a month, essentially, a little bit more than that. So I'm going to create an account here, Pat Flynn email address. Okay. Username, I'm gonna just do um, deep pocket monster password and hit continue. There's some terms and services. You can read those if you'd like. Continue. Okay, and then we'll put in some organization information or your address if you have one, uh, billing info and order confirmation. We're just gonna skip ahead so that we don't have to worry about following me here. All right, and after your purchase, this is where you'll end up. Thanks for choosing Hover. Your order is complete. And then click on Manage My Domain. All right, so once you're all done, this is where you're gonna end up. As you can see, deeppocket.monster is where we're at. We're going to connect Flywheel, which is our website hosting platform. Essentially, this allows us to build a website. Just go to smartpassiveincome.com slash flywheel. Again, our affiliate link to get through and get that. And then once you're here on the homepage, hit Get Started. Then you're gonna choose a username deep pocket monster, then a password and your email address. Next, you complete your profile. Just, I'm gonna put Pat Flynn. I am a business owner and I work for myself full time. Finish. Okay, and here we are, we have our account set up and all we need to do is create a new site. This may or may not pull an image for you like it did for me. This is an old image connected to the email address I use, which is something you can change later if you want. So let's not worry about that right now. I'm gonna hit this green button, create a new site. Then you can select who will own this site, whether it's you or your organization. I'm gonna hit me and hit create a plan. Next, you have the option of getting only WordPress hosting or WordPress hosting, billing, client management, all that other stuff. In most cases, 99% of the time, if you're starting your own business for right now, all you need is a WordPress hosting site to build the website. So I'm gonna click get started there. And then finally, we need to choose a plan. You'll have a bunch of options here. You can always upgrade or downgrade later. I'm just gonna choose the lightest one or the tiny one here, which is again, $15 a month. And with the hosting that you get, as well as the support is definitely worth it. Uh, I'm going to choose plan for subscription name. I'm just going to uh, use the same username that I've been doing, Deep Pocket Monster. This just connects this plan to this particular website. Uh, it doesn't have to match. That's just what, for my own purposes. And then I'm going to hit monthly for now, and I'm going to add a payment method. And from here, you can choose to pay with a credit card or PayPal. I'm going to skip ahead here so you don't see my info. Finally, once you have all that info filled out, I'm going to hit checkout. Okay, we're done with that. Now we simply create our website. All you have to do is scroll down to where it says site name. That's where we're gonna put the name of our brand, Deep Pocket Monster. Now you can have a temporary domain name, which is the one that's supplied to you until you connect the domain name that you just purchased or one that you already have. So for now, we're just gonna put deeppocketmonster.flywheelsites.com. And again, that's just temporary. Then you're gonna need a username and password to log into your website with. It can be the same as your other one that you did for your accounts or something different specific to this. However you wanna do it, I'm just gonna add deep pocket 
monster and for password. Now, just so you know, I'm going to change my username later on after this tutorial so that people don't try to use my account and log in. But anyway, I'm just going to hit Create Site. And now it says, Deep Pocket Monster is being created. When it's ready, we'll send you an email to let you know. And this will take just a few minutes. So I'm going to leave this up here. I'm going to time it in fact so I can tell you how long it took so you don't get worried. OK, here we are. It's finally done. It took about five minutes. So if you've been waiting less than five minutes, just give it some time. Now, first thing to do is scroll down. You can see that this says privacy mode is on, which means that you'll have to use a username and password when you uh, log in. You can turn privacy mode off if you want to do it. But just to show you, uh, we're just going to copy that password here. And I'm going to click on the domain right here. And as you can see, flywheel is just the username. I'm going to enter the password. And as you can see, this is our website. It's already set up. And again, privacy mode is on, so others can't see this unless they have that password. As soon as we turn that off, which we will do later, uh, then it'll be easy for anybody to access. But as you can see, this is the, the look of it now. And don't worry, we're going to change the look of it, make it look great for you later. That's it. We're actually going to connect our website that we just set up to the domain name that we have, whether you got it on Hover or you have it on GoDaddy. It's kind of the same process no matter what. So all you have to do here is go to your domain name. I'm going to go to your account control panel. So this is in Hover. Here, we're going to click on DNS. Whatever service you're using for domain names, click on the DNS. This is where we do some fairly technical things. But again, I'm just going to walk you through exactly step by step what we should be doing. So keep this in mind. We want to get to the DNS area. Now, back on Flywheel, we're going to go over to the domains area here. And you'll see that there is an IP address. This is next to the flag here because I'm in the United States. I'm going to copy that. That is the IP address for our website. So again, I'm going to copy just this number here. So copy. And now I'm going to go back to Manage Domains and Hover. And there's a couple things we need to do. Number one, the A record, this, these are under type, the A record with the at symbol under host, we want to edit that. And then we're going to change the IP address, again, of the at symbol one to the IP address that we had from Flywheel. And I'm going to hit Save Changes. Next, you'll notice an A symbol here, an A record with the star. We're going to delete that one. So we can just delete that one altogether. And then finally, we're going to create a, another C name type here. So add record, type, C name. Host name, we're going to make www. And the target name is going to be our domain name. So deeppocket.monster. Add record. OK. So that, this is all set up. We're all ready to go. So when we go back to Flywheel, after a certain number of minutes, this will be connected. How do we know? Well, you can click on these three dots here and click on Check DNS Status. Now, initially, it's probably going to be just like this. Even though we did everything correctly, you're going to see these exclamation points. That means it hasn't gone live yet. It takes some time to propagate out there in the world. And you can just continually hit this Refresh button if you want to just check it. But it should take just a little bit of time so I'm going to time this again so that we know exactly how much time to expect for this to happen. So I'm going to turn the timer on, and I'll see you on the other side and let you know how long it took. OK, now after three minutes, we now have check marks all the way across. So again, it might take some time, but just let it be. And if you got everything connected, you'll eventually get here. If you need some help, you can click on Details or click on DNS Help for more information. And their help area is really, really, really quick. So that should help. Now. Next up, we want to turn privacy mode off because we want to just go to deeppocket.monster and check it out. If we do that now because it's on privacy mode, we'll uh, be prompted to type in those passwords and stuff, and stuff. But I'm just going to hit privacy mode off. All right, let's try it out. I'm going to go to deeppocket.monster, hit Enter. And there we go. There's our website now connected to our domain name. Now it's just a matter of, well, making it look great, which we'll do in the next module. Now, one last thing here, as you can see in the upper left-hand corner, it says not secure. We want to make our website secure. So to do that, go back to Flywheel. Under the domain here, we have to click Enable SSL. So I'm going to click Enable SSL. It's free to do here on Flywheel, which is great. And I'm going to hit Complete SSL Setup. And it does it for, as you can see, both deeppocket.monster and www.deeppocket.monster. Complete setup. It says securing domain. 
And as before, this thing takes a little bit of time as it says up here, we're on it, simple SSLs being enabled. This process can take a while, but we'll email when it's complete. And uh, we don't have to wait around for that. That'll just change that so that if we refresh this, it won't say not secure anymore. And um, then our website will be secure.